Hello everyone and welcome back to my first Albion online guide. Today we're going to talk about tiers and how they actually work and how you can progress through them. So since I started playing a lot of Albion online, a lot of my friends and people who follow me in the community have been asking me how does tier actually works? How can I progress? How can I get better armor? How can I get better weapon? How can I get different items? Well, I'm going to break everything down in this guide in a very basic way without a lot of big, well, a, big, a lot of big effects and so on. I'm just going to show you how it works and that's everything. So we're going to break this into two sections. The first section is going to be the tiers. What is well, what are tiers and which tiers can you get? And the second one is how do you actually unlock the tiers? So if we put this away to the side and go to the first topic that was the tier list. So as you can see in the picture here, we have tier, well, basically you have tier one till eight, but ignore tier one and two because tier one and two is basically the one you can say is your tutorial. So when you start the game and you finish your tutorial island, you will begin to get tier two items. Here you have to choose between a little, well, you can see you have to choose between either using plate armor, leather armor or cloth armor. Also, you have to choose between a sword, a staff, a bow, or a shield. Well, the shield goes with the sword. And also in an offhand, if you want, so on. When you choose these items and you begin to progress in these items, you will then begin to unlock tier 3. And this is all by doing that you have to have your tier 2 item on your, on your, well, on your character, kill well, monsters or mobs or enemies, and then you begin to get fame. Well, in normal it's called experience point, but Albion call it fame. And then you will begin to unlock your first tier three. For example, as you can see on the map here, we have tier three for plate, leather, cloth. Then when you begin to well, go up in tier four, five, six, seven, eight, you will begin to unlock more variations. At the moment, you have actually in each of the armor slots for plate, leather, cloth on both your, you can say your feet, your body and your head, you actually have eight different sets you can get. On this preview here, I'm just showing you three of them. So you just get a feeling of that's actually different sets. But how it works is that first of all, you have to get on your tier three, I armor for plate, leather, cloth. And then whenever you can say you actually kill monsters and that is at least, well, tier three plus, then you will begin to unlock more and more and better gear. It's actually, you can say quite simple because you just have to have that gear on and kill monsters that are plus tier three. And that's how it's well together. So that's the first topic I will just show you here that you can actually see we have eight tiers. And of course the top one is the best one as you begin to progress through the game. If we put this tier list away and we actually go into the game, because the best way is actually to go into your skill interface where you can either click on this one in the top right corner or you can click on B. When going into this skill tree, you will first at all start here when starting the tutorial. In the tutorial, you will unlock this one here that actually gives you tier two, well, sword, tier two bow, tier two staff, shield, and as offhand for spells. Also, you will unlock tier three, plate, leather, and cloth. So for example, let's take this example that you want to be a warrior. You want to have plate armor on and you want to have a sword and a shield and you know, really be a real warrior plate-ish. Let me then show you how you should do this. The thing you should do is you should have, you need to take on your tier two chest and you need to take on your tier two sword and your tier two shield. That's everything it requires. Because then if we go down here, you will see that you will begin to unlock the one called Journeyman Warrior. Kill creatures of tier two plus. So when you attack monsters, you can see which tier they are in. They can be in tier one to eight. So you need to kill at least tier two and up with the sword from tier two that you unlock over here. So when you have killed enough monsters with a tier two sword and you have got your 5,000 fame, also experience points. Well, in my world, it's experience point, but Albion calls it fame. Then you will unlock tier three weapons in the warriors, well, in the journeyments of warrior. That will unlock the crossbow, the axe, the hammer, 
the mace, the sword, and the shield. The cool thing here is then, now from this point on, you will begin to go into the next level, you can say. Now you have to choose, do you want to be a guy who uses swords, axes, maces, hammers, crossbows, and shield? Because now it's all about how you want to play the game. For example, if I wanted to be a guy with a sword and a shield, I would then begin to unlock through in my sword. That requires then that I need a tier 3 sword on me. You can see this one here. Well, kill creatures of tier 3. Oh, sorry. Of plus tier 3 with the tier 2 weapon. So you can see this tier 2 weapon, tier 2 weapon here. You need to at least have this one on you. And then you need to kill at least tier 3 monsters. This means you just need to have the sword on, kill at least tier 3 monsters, and then you will begin to unlock through this one. You can actually keep your tier 2 sword and just kill plus 3 monsters and unlock till the end game when you can get your tier 8 armor, well, weapons. It's pretty cool. So that means you don't have to replace your gear whenever you are able to actually get new gear. You can keep it if you want, if you still feel strong enough, and you can just keep killing. So if I want to unlock and get one of the better swords down here, so any of these better swords, the first thing I need is to get level 1 in this sword fighter. And all I have to do is I need to kill creatures of type 3 plus with the tier 2 sword that you unlocked over, over here that you should already have. And then you're pretty much ready to go. If I wanted to unlock in, well, you can say in axis, that's why I said tier 3 weapon before. Because if I want to unlock in axis, for example, I need a tier 3 axe. The only reason you can keep doing with the tier 2 sword is because tier, you only have a tier 2 sword. There is no access for tier 2. And the same, if you want, let's say, you want to go as a spellcaster who use cloth address. Then you would need to take on your tier 2 staff and you need to take on your chest that is also for cloth. So this one here called Novice Scholar Rope. Then you will unlock this one called Journeyman Cloth Armor Fighter where you have to kill tier 2 creatures with the, no, with the tier 2 chest of clove, and you need to get 5000 fame, also called experience, well, experience point fame, and then you will unlock all the tier 3 armors for clove. From there on, you simply just need to have each of the armor type on, and you will automatically begin to unlock. Everything it requires is that you just at least have need to have the tier 2 armor on you so you don't need to buy tier 3 armor to actually progress through this you can keep on your tier 2 armor and then you simply just need to kill creatures of tier 3 with novice scholar so that means you just have to keep at least tier 2 armor on you can also get up better if you want but you just, just at least least you just need tier 2 armor for club and then you need to kill at least tier 3 creatures so that means from level you can say in the chest here from level 1 to 100 in this one you can basically kill tier 3 mobs all the all the way with just this tier 2 on and go through that way and then when you get to level 1 you can see here it's one it's right now 0 out of 100 when you get to level 1 you can begin to use tier 4 items and you now you can choose between eight different sets in clove when you get to level 10, you can get then your tier 5, 13, level 13 is tier 7, sorry 6, and then 7 and 60, and in level 100 you get your tier 8. So it's actually as basic as that, that you start with your tier 2 item, well here, tier 2 item, you choose which way you want to go, if you want to be the warrior, if you want to be the huntsman, or if you want to be the mage cast, well the mage, and then from the mage one, you unlock your free, all your different staffs, where when, whichever staff you take on, then you will begin to progress through the staff you actually want to use here. As a bonus, just for put a little bit salt on top of it, you even have more down here. That's because, let's say for example, I want to be a healer. I want to use the priest staff, so the holy staff. So what I have to do is when I get the, this one here where the mage, journeyman mage and I get my tier 3 holy staff I need to take it on 
and then every time I kill any creatures of tier 3 plus with my journeyman holy staff, I then unlock fame here so I can become a better healer and get a better healing staff. Let's say for example I take this one called um, the holy staff. Then when I go through here you can see you have four different weapons here. That is, you can see all the four different weapons here are basically, well, in this case, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, but some of them is just an upgraded version. For example, this one here, and some of them, I can't re really remember which, I'm not playing this back, but you can see in the end here, it's actually only four of the staffs that is important because some of them is an upgraded version. So some of them down there below was actually like they emerged together, but it's just an upgrade, like you could say an artifact version of them. So depending on which of the staff you use, you will begin to progress through these. These actually doesn't do, you know, any active thing. They basically just, you can see here, passive, they give 0.2 bonus item power to all the holy staffs. So that means if I progress in this one here to level 100, I'll get a lot of bonus, well, bonus per item power to all the holy staffs, no matter which one you use. But I will actually get two points item power for this one, this artifact holy staff that I have on. So of course, having that weapon on that you already have progress on and up in most, will of course have higher item power than other. But if you really have a lot of time in the game and you already have 100 out of 100 in this one, I can recommend begin to maybe use some of the others because again, it will increase the other one also. So, I mean, if you have 100 in all of them, then you're pretty good to go. But trust me, that takes time. That really takes time. So you should be really understanding now how you can progress through the different tiers now. As a bonus info, just a bonus info just for you, you can actually see this one here. We have like a very strong and wide way that is going up this way. This one is telling you which tier, well, which tier monsters you actually right now can kill. It really doesn't depend on your gear. It's more about this one here, this path. This one here tells me that I can now against tier three monsters, I will now deal 50% more damage and I will now, well, have higher increased defense also. This one here do so I'm very much stronger, 35% stronger against tier four. This one is 45% stronger against tier five. This one is 60% stronger against tier six. And this one is 75% stronger against tier seven. So basically because I have unlocked this one, I know that I can kill tier seven now, but I don't have this one here. So going against tier eight monsters from in my case would probably be a bad idea. But when I unlock this one, then I can definitely go for tier eight monsters. So if you're like, you're not 100% sure which tier should I actually go to, you can always see which one have you actually progressed through here. But again, it doesn't matter if you're not, if you're fighting lower tier monsters than your gear, at least, I mean, always check on your spell here. What tier monsters do I need to kill? Of course, for getting the best. So keep in mind, I'm not trying to tell which one is the fastest way. I'm just telling you how you can do it. So again, this was supposed to be a very classic, well, a very basic guide for everyone who don't, don't understand the tier system in Albion Online. So if you still don't understand it, I'm sorry, leave down a comment and let me try maybe to personalize it to you the answer. But else I think most of you probably now get it, how you can actually enhance your gear, get better gear and how you can get the different sets. So thanks for watching everyone, leave down a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what guide I should make next time. Is there anything in Albion Online you're not 100% sure about? Leave down a comment and let me try to make a guide about that. So thanks for watching everyone. See you in next episode. Peace out.